Hi, I am Dr. Sridhar Kalyana Sundaram, consultant neonatologist and pediatrician. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for keeping the notifications on. And uh, I hope you are able to share these videos with your friends as well, so they may benefit. So, in this video, I'll be looking at newborn screening. So, what is newborn screening, and why should we do newborn screening for our babies? So, uh, in the past uh, 20 years or so, newborn screening has become well established in most countries, and even in developing countries, some form of the newborn screening is introduced. The main reason newborn screening came up is because we want to protect the babies from conditions which can damage the brain in the long term, especially congenital hypothyroidism. So, uh, newborn screening is a group of metabolic tests which are done on a blood spot. So, the hospital gets blood spot papers, four or five drops of blood are collected on it. The reason they collect four or five spots is that you can repeat the test on any of the spots if needed. You can store a sample for future need if needed. So, the test is actually done on one blood spot or if uh, different labs are involved, two blood spots may be used. However, uh, the four or five spots need to be accurately collected for because it has uh, other functions as well. It's a group of tests, so it's done on the principle of uh, screening where um, a whole lot of 100 samples or so is run into the analyzer. If any abnormality is picked up, then they do individually on each of those 100 samples. So that's why the screening tests are cheaper. Majority of the time, the screening tests are normal. However, in the baby where it is abnormal, it makes a significant impact to their future development, especially the brain development, and in some cases, it may even be life-saving. So it's very important that we do uh, the newborn screening as recommended by the pediatrician. It's usually done after the first uh, 36 hours of life, and usually within the first five to seven days. The reason the five to seven days limit is there is because we don't want to delay the results. If you have hypothyroidism, for example, you want to treat by the end of the second week at the latest. So the results usually take seven to 10 days in most centers as their labs are outsourced uh, because it's done on a pool basis, as I said. So the larger number of uh, uh, samples that are tested, the cheaper the test becomes. So they are doing it on a pool basis and most of the labs outsource it. So we have to do it within the first uh, five to seven days. And it's very important that the baby is on full feeds when we do it to reach the full benefit. However, in a premature baby in the NICU where this is not possible, we still do an early test and then we may repeat it when the baby is going home. So there are many conditions tested, but the most important ones are for congenital hypothyroidism where uh, the thyroid level, the thyroid hormone levels are low. And if a baby has low thyroid hormone levels, it affects the brain development very rapidly. Thankfully, due to the newborn screen, we hardly see the clear-cut cases of hypothyroidism these days because we pick them up early and we treat them. But it was one of the important reasons for mental retardation in the olden days. The babies used to have a very big tongue. They had constipation, very rough skin. They have a typical phase and I have seen a few during my training days. But as I said, nowadays the trainees are less likely to see such cases because more universal screening. Maybe in the underdeveloped parts of uh, developing countries, you may still find it. However, it's important to do the thyroid screen if you don't do the full newborn screen at least. The uh, important factor we have to remember that even if you do one single test in the lab, the cost of the newborn screen will match most of it because uh, tests done individually are uh, expensive and because the newborn screen is done as a pool sample, it's cheaper. So it's better to do the newborn screen which covers more, many other tests as well. So we have conditions like the congenital adrenal hyperplasia, which is tested. We have cystic fibrosis. This is very important in the Caucasian population where the risk of the disease is very high. We have phenylketonuria, which is a amino acid disorder, which is not uncommon either. We have many other rarer disorders, the medium chain acyl-CoA deficiency, galactosemia. We have the organic and amino acid disorders and so on. So the, about 40 conditions are tested. Some tests include the hemoglobinopathies, uh, but thalassemia is not part of the, sickles, um, of the newborn screen. Usually, if you have a genetic risk of thalassemia, you do a separate test for that. Uh, some form of alpha thalassemia and sickle cell disease or variants of hemoglobin may be picked up. G6PD deficiency is tested in the Middle East and uh, other high risk population and uh, diagnosing G6PD deficiency may help you avoid anemia as a result of that if you are in inadvertently exposed to uh, drugs which may cause the RBCs to hemolyze. The idea of this talk is not to explain all about every disease that is covered in the newborn screen. My idea was to give you an overview of why it is done and why it is important to be done. 
So as I told you, it's very important to do the newborn screen for your baby after 36 hours, uh, preferably, and within five to seven days. Don't worry about the cost, even if you don't have insurance, because the cost is subsidized and you do get a much bigger benefit from doing this test. It's better than uh, <coughs> buying any insurance because the likelihood of one in 3,000 or one in 4,000 chance that the baby may have a problem which could cause lifelong impact and you're able to prevent it by doing this test. So this is my uh, request to you that you don't refuse the newborn screening and uh, do spread this word with your friends and relatives as well. I hope this video is useful. Do subscribe, do turn notifications on and uh, do share this with your friends and relatives. Thank you.